Hello everyone. So today I will show you how to clean the Cafe Latte Go uh, 5400 series. I was told by the machine that the AquaClean filter has to be exchanged. Uh, a few days ago it was still at 10% and now when I turn it on I hope it will show up. I will put a, a bowl underneath that I have here so that the water can come out. I also will show you how to, to clean this once more if you don't want to look at my last video. So it's heating up. So it's rinsing. Okay, so this is finished. So I will show you not only how to exchange the, the filter, but other things. So maintain it uh, as such. And just for an info, I don't know if you can read what I have written here. So all in total, I made 558 coffees, me and my husband, since uh, the unboxing and the counter. I loaded down all the different coffees, but I can show you right away where you can find this. But let's first take a look at the at the filter here. I will zoom in. Can you see? Okay, so it says replace aqua clean filter. Yeah. So I will do that. I will take it out. And first of all, I have to get rid of the, the water. Now I can zoom back out again. I have it here in the, in the drawer. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so here's the, the filter. I will zoom out even more. So I will take out the old one. And remember when my coffee machine was uh, delivered, the aqua filter that came with it, it unluckily it didn't have this rubber ring here. And um, during the, the time I used it now, I once in a while took out everything and cleaned it. Because if you do not do that, uh, the, the water reservoir inside, it will get a, a, like a smeary layer. This is normal, this is not only by the, in this machine, but uh, any kind of um, water cooker or, or um, coffee machine that you have. You don't, if you don't clean it, it will get like a smeary. Yeah, it's, it's slippery. It's, a, uh, I don't know what it's called, aqua film. So I will take off this rubber here. Normally you shouldn't do that, you just exchange it. I will wash this. Okay, I've read the instruction that came with this one. So I put the rubber on from the, the first one yeah, that came without the rubber, unluckily. And it tells you to shake this for five seconds. Inside, I don't know if you can hear it. You can hear it. I'm putting it to the microphone now. There's something in there. And then you have to put it in some water and wait until there are no more bubbles coming up anymore. Okay. Now there are no more bubbles coming up. Okay, then I put it into the, the water reservoir and press it all the way down. Okay, it's seated. Now I'm going to fill in some fresh water. So now I'm going to put it back into the machine. And I will zoom in again so you can see what's going on. So it asks me 0% replace aqua filter and I say OK. Shake the filter and immerse it upside down in a bowl 
with cold water. So it even tells me what I have to do. I already read it in the in the instruction that came with the you know with the copy machine. But you don't even have to do that because it's shown here on screen. We said okay because we did that. Insert the filter into, into the connection in the water tank. Yes, I did that. Fill the water tank with fresh water up to the indication and place it back. Yes. Place a container under the hot water spout. So I will take this off here. I will show you later how to maintain that. So I'm putting it now. And press start. Okay, it's already blinking as you can see here. Yeah. So let's press that. So now the, the filter, yeah, this is normal. So don't, don't worry, this is normal. Okay. Filter 2 to op 8 successfully activated. So here I will show you how the quick rinse works. I will zoom in a little bit more and show you what the screen says. Okay, but after I have used the machine in the morning, yeah, when I decide, okay, this is it for the day, I will clean my milk container. So what I do is I use clean, quick rinse, okay. Would you like to start the milk system cleaning? Yes. Okay, I've put the Latte Go container here. I will zoom out a, a little bit. Okay, I will put something underneath. I already emptied it out because I want to show you something. So normally there would be milk in there. Yeah. I always, before I put it in the, back in the refrigerator, I always fill it up to here again for the next day. So, as you see here, the spout is, is cleaned. Then I always take a, a small piece of paper and clean it all the way around here too, and a little bit inside here. But it's not about cleaning this nozzle here. It is to clean the channel inside. I will show you right away. One, in, one interesting thing that I just found out, this is why I said before I put it back into the refrigerator, I always fill it up, up to here, yeah? Because a little bit of water, it's not so much, but a little bit of water uh, gets inside this container as well when it's uh, pumped out here. But it is not, uh, not that much, don't worry. So what happens to the, during the cleaning process? Because normally the milk is pumped up here. You see, this is here the, the rubber, the rubber sealing, rubber sealer, and the milk is is soaked up from here, and it goes up here. Here it is swirled around, and then it is pumped through the through the nozzle here inside your glass or cup. Yeah. And this is what was just cleaned during this quick cleaning process. And this is why you cannot prevent a little bit of water getting in here. But during the cleaning process, it is interesting that no milk is sucked up. I don't know how the system does that. Um, it goes directly from here out here. And so after the cleaning process, you know, remember I, I always after I'm finished, you know, I, I fill up the container here again and I do the total cleaning, like taking it apart and really rinsing everything. I do only every uh, second to third day. That's, that's, uh, that's enough, you know. And then always take care that you hear this clicking sound that you really are sure that it is closed totally. You could also put it in the dishwasher, but I've never done so. I just uh, carefully clean it by hand. Yeah, always take a good look inside here that you don't have any excess uh, of dried milk in here. What I want to do now is to show you how to take out the, the... This one here, as you can see the 
this plastic thing here is all the way up it means oh there's maximum water in here I tried to count the the coffee pads but they always sometimes they fall apart so uh, it's hard to count as you see it is full and um, a maximum I guess there are about uh, 14 to 16 pads in there when it's really full and then the machine will tell you funny thing is if you clean it out in between uh, often you have the, the the note that please empty this and there are only two pads in there this is because I think the the machine accounts like like 14 to 16 coffees and then it gives you the the hint please empty it out so it's not there's nothing in there measuring it it is just after 14 to 16 coffees yeah, that tells you to to, ex, uh, to to empty it out. So here's the, this one here. I always try to uh, to empty it every day, but somehow I, I got. I think I forgot it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, why do I normally try to to empty it out every day? Because I don't want to have any fungus inside the machine. Yeah. So maintenance is really important. I will clean it now and then I will go, go on. Okay, here I am back. And as you see, I cleaned it. I cleaned it out. You just use some, some uh, mild soap and a brush or you put it into your dishwasher. I also cleaned out here the, the front. And um, yeah, once in a while you should take a cloth and go in here and wipe it out because sometimes you find some some coffee there now i recently did that so it seems to be all clean i will put this back and it always tells you okay please put back and as soon as it's back in there it will say everything's okay so the other thing that I let me check clean brew group clean okay would you like to start brew group cleaning five minutes and fill the water tank with fresh water up to the indication and place it in let's see if I have to add some water no I think it's still okay because I filled it up really all the way and uh, put it back Yes, put a coffee oil remover tablet in the pre-ground coffee compartment. Okay, I have these here, so I will press it out. Oops, and then I will put it up in this little department here. Now, yeah, like that. So I did that now, I put in the, uh, yes, okay place a container underneath this is too high I will use the, I will use a bowl I have a bowl here I'll show you here like that okay I will zoom out once I'm finished here then press start okay now it starts cleaning this and So it, it said that it's going to take five minutes and I will just skip fast forward so you don't have to wait that long. Oh, interesting. So that's what it sounds like. Okay, you see? And the water is kind of brown coming out there. Yeah, and there's a... Yeah, you can see where we are here the indication it's just like if you update your phone you know you will also see this line and it is milky milky whitish brownish yeah. so I will let it do its job and then I will come back to you So as you can see here, it is almost clear, still a little bit brown, but it says now it's finished. 
So let's take a look at the next cleaning that uh, this thing offers. Real good cleaning, descaling. Remember in the beginning I, I told you that I brewed 558 coffees or drinks, different size of coffees. Some have more water, some less. But when I go into the, the water hardness here, mine is on three. So we have very hard water here. Yeah? So I think for that it is quite okay. And let's go back to clean. Let's go to descaling. Let's say, okay, would you like to descale your machine? This takes now 30 minutes. I will, I will start recording, but I, I guess I will not film it all the way through. You know, I hope you understand. Uh, I will record a little bit, but not the entire thing. I will put in some, some water here right away. If present, please remove the Latte Go and the Aqua Clean filter. So I will take this out. It's seated really well now with the, with the rubber. See, I took it out here. I'll put it aside. And then pour Philips descaler in the water tank, then fill up with water up to the Cal Clean indication and place it back. So on here, as you see here, there's a, a, a symbol here and uh, there's nothing else. So this the other mark is the max fill. As you can see here, this is the max fill and this is the what they just talked about here. I will put in some water and I will put in the descaler. I don't have the original um, Philips one, I will use my own one. I guess this is all the same, you know. I will, it's a powder and uh, it's with uh, natural ingredients from a lemon, lemon acid. And I will mix it and then I will put it, pour it in there. Okay, so here we go. I will pour the water into the tank up to the mark. So I, if you use a, a powder descaler, please really take care that you dissolve it totally, that there's no grain left. And then put it back. And I added water. And we have to go in here again, because I waited too long, descaler. Yes, so it's, it says it's going to take 30 minutes. I'm going to zoom in there again so you can read it. Okay, 30 minutes, yes. If present, please remove the letter go and the aqua. Yeah, we did that already. Pour the scaler, blah, blah, blah. Indication back and then place it back, yes. Place a large container. So I already know that this one is not going to be enough, but so I have to, to uh, babysit this and able to, to take it out in between. And under the coffee spout and the water spout. Oh, so now yeah, like that. So it should cover both because it's going to go through both of these. And then, yes, press the play button. Yeah. And so I guess in the first, in the first in instance it will go through one of these and then it will slip over to the other. So both are cleaned after another. And the progress bar is here again, so just to, to show you where you are. Yeah. And I will just show you what's happening now. So first now it's, it's running through here. I will get closer. So you can see it. I guess it always stops in between, but I will wait for the next one to happen. So you can see it. Okay, can you see now it's first running out here. 
first step. So it's always pausing in between and then it's going on. Okay, I will come back to you once this is finished and uh, as 30 minutes are very long, I guess uh, that would be too boring. So see you in a moment. The cleaning process has finished. Descaling. Empty the water tank, rinse and then fill it with fresh water up to the indication and place it back. Okay, in between I already emptied this once. I will do what I'm told. I will take out this here. I will, uh, there's still a little bit left as you can see here. So I will clean this out and then I put put in fresh water. I'm putting it back like that and then I will zoom in for you again to see. Yes, okay, I did that. Place a large container, blah, blah, blah. And now the rinsing will start. Press again, it's blinking again, as you can see, and pressing start. And the whole process is now in the step two. And it's coming out here now, as you can see. Yeah. And again, I wonder, I'm really wondering when it, if or when it will come out here because I didn't watch it. Oh, it's only coming out here. Oh, now it's coming out here. Now it's coming out of both. Okay, so I just wanted to check that. So it does come out from both of them. So this step here is quicker. Okay, so it's finished as you can see here. And now it's heating back up. Um, there's not so much water in there anymore. It's uh, only one third filled now the, the, the water container. So it's heating back up. I guess I can take this out here. And I guess it will go back to the, to the normal state. Oh, it's rinsing. So this is the normal rinsing when you turn on the coffee machine. Yeah. There we go. And I always use a microfiber towel so I don't scratch the, the panel here because this is not metal, it's plastic, but it looks very nice. As you see, nothing happened yet. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is I want to, so here we are finished. I did all that stuff. Yeah. So, but the last thing I want to show you is how to, to wash the, the, the unit in here. So I will take out again, the drawer. I will, and there's lots of water in here from the cleaning process. I will get rid of it and I will, I just turned off the machine now and I will show you how to get out the brewing and the grinding unit. As you see here, it's black. It's not easy for you maybe to see. So I open up here. Yeah. It says 
after it's written here I will get very close or I will hold it later in the camera it says after seven days please rinse with water after 500 coffees please lubricate and after 500 coffees please uh, clean it and if you're not quite sure you should read the instructions so I will I will take it out out you have to do like this a little bit and press really hard to the right hand side I have rheumatism but uh, normally I don't have much strength in my hands but I was still able to do it so as you see in here there's some coffee powder um, and you will see also down here yeah, there, there, there's coffee powder here too and um, yeah, I will I will rinse it under water now. In the coffee machine, there's also some powder. I will get closer to show you. So I will I will clean out uh, all the the coffee powder that is in here. Uh, you might even want to use a vacuum cleaner. That makes life a little bit easier. But now can you imagine what this would look like uh, if you would have a machine where you cannot take out this brew group? Ugh. So i rather clean this uh, every once in a while instead of having some fungus and, and stuff in there that I don't really want to see what it looks like. Ugh, disgusting. So I will come to you back in a moment and then we will grease the, the unit. Here it is, and I have an old brush that I already used for cleaning out the, the compartment inside, so it's already a little bit dirty. So take care to use warm water but not hot water, and then you can carefully just go in here for instance, and uh, also carefully in here. a little bit of soap in that area here because it looks so dirty. Maybe in here, as you can see here, I can also a little bit for the rest yeah, otherwise we would wipe away the the grease that is still in there and I want to keep as much as I can Now all the moving parts I will I will put on some grease and some once in a while I also do like like this okay so this is the grease here that came with the machine so I will lubricate everything that has a rubber on it or that is moving and for instance here this is here a part that moves so I also put in some grease there and there like that And here, as I already showed, I put some grease here, I put some grease here. Let me see what else is moving. And here, the white thing here. So it seems to be moving.
Oh, there's nothing. There's something else moving here, up and down. Oh, okay. As you can see now, we can press in this thing here, and then you can move it outwards a bit. So, as you see now, this is moving here. Ready? Try to put in some grease, but I will try to add more. Also on the other side. Okay, so when you put it in, it should be in the neutral position, as you see here. Yeah, so don't put it in like this. This would not work. It has to be in this position. And but I just wanted to see if I have to lubricate something else. It seems to be okay that way. I'm still a bit gooey in there. Great. So you have to uh, let this dry overnight, and then just put it back in. Yeah, I will. Just uh, do as if because I tomorrow morning I, had, I don't have any time to film. So I will show you how to put it in back in. So we move over here. So let's imagine this would be in the next day now. Now take care that this is back in an end position here in the neutral position. And then we carefully Put it back but there is something else in here i don't know if you can see it Let's, i will go closer there's a piece of rubber can you see this here this is like a piston and there are two rubbers and there those i also will lubricate so rubber number one it's really important and then rubber number two Great, okay. Okay, now let's put the unit back. Okay, this is back in place in the neutral position. I will put it in. Now we have to push, holding it here, and it seems to be okay. Yeah, so it's in the neutral position, so it seems to be okay. Yeah, and I can check because I cannot get it out anymore. I have to push again this button here. So I thought it would have to make click, but it doesn't really. It's just so afterwards you would close this, put it in the water tank, and then you're ready to go. But I will take it out now again because I have to let it dry overnight. Great. Okay. I hope you found this video helpful, so I hope you enjoyed it. See you hopefully soon. Bye bye.